Alibaba has released Gwen 3 Coder model. It seems that Alibaba is on roll. Yesterday, they released this Gwen 3 mixture of expert model for language. And today we have this coding model on our hand. You can see this animation. I have generated this dense, rich animation just with single text prompt. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please subscribe and like the video. This new Quen3 model is a powerful coding specialized language model which is very much suitable for code generation, tool use and agentic tasks. The main use case for this model seems to be code generation. So if you are looking to generate world class high quality code then maybe give this model a try very surprisingly this time Quen hasn't really released the model weights yet on hugging face or on model scope i haven't seen them it seems that they might still be uploading but this is bit sort of a diversion from their usual norm where they not only release the model on their chat interface they also release it on hugging face anyway we will wait and see the maximum context length of this model is 1 million tokens and it could also generate the summary of the code very very nicely and you can in even increase that context length through yarn but there might be some hallucination there. Also the modality is only text as you can imagine and there are few more details which I will be mentioning as we go down. Um, the video but for now let's go and try to get it tested i will also drop the link to this quen chat in the video's description so that you can also check it out all you need to do is to just go to chat.quen.ai and from there sign up with your free email account and you can start using it make sure that you select quen3 coder at the top left let's try out the first prompt so in this one, I'm asking it to design me a full stack AI powered resume screening system for a tech company hiring software engineers. The system should accept resume uploads and then it should be using the LLM or any pipeline to extract relevant data like name and all that stuff and do a lot of other features. So let's run this and see how this works. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. Now, if you have noticed, it's not doing any thinking. So I don't see any reasoning there by default, but we will also check it out after enabling the reasoning to see if it follows chain of thought or not. While it produces the code, let's also check out the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community which focuses on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And the model is still generating the code as you can see here. And it is not just some filler code. I'm already quite impressed by it without any fluff. And I will actually show you. I'm just trying to move at the top to show you how much code it has generated because it's a big full stack application you see that it has drawn this project structure so it shows that it has got a deep understanding of scalable architecture and then if you look at all of these files it's very very applicable to the real world all the controllers are there and if you look here there is a back end and then there is a front end and then it has also given us the nginx web server it has started with backend implementation so it has gone with this docker file which you can readily implement and these are the requirements which you need to create and then this is configuration it is going with um, this model parameter where it is showing you that how you can do a seamless pdf docx parsing to intelligent resume matching which i asked it to do it is also going with a very nice scoring algorithm the code looks both elegant and functional as you can already see look at the amount of code and it is very much modular all the functions are there it has even you know went beyond 
what I asked it to do actually. It has created all the relevant information around it. So you see, this is a gen it is generating the reasoning to as why it is why it has selected what it has selected. <clears throat> and this is a scorer service which you can check out. Amazing stuff. There you go. So and it is even given us this simulator service here. And these are the controllers. This is a job and then various controllers it has created and I'm scrolling through. I noticed taking a bit of a time, but this is what we wanted from our models. And you can see uh, that maybe, maybe Anthropics Claude is in trouble. I can immediately tell. This has taken it to a very, very new level. There you go. So I'm just going to scroll here. There you go. So not only it has created the whole code and it is telling us what exactly uh, needs to be done in terms of building it and how you can build it api endpoint you can access and then you can contribute it you can just pick it up <coughs> sorry you can pick it up and put it in your github repo easily and it is telling us that this implementation provides a production ready foundation that can be extended with additional features like advanced NLP, machine learning models, enterprise integration and all that stuff and which looks pretty grounded to me. Okay, let's try out another one. I'm going to ask it to, I will run it and I will show you what I'm asking it to do. To create me a self-contained HTML file that implements a simple block stacking game using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and then there are few features of the game that a vertical game area where blocks fall from the top at regular intervals and then few of the controls I am mentioning and what should be the display and everything should be self-contained. It is creating at the moment. Then I will paste it in my browser and we will check out what it has created. And previously, I think it already did a wonderful job with this animation really really good stuff okay let's wait for it it's almost there and it has generated the whole game as you can see and it is asking me to just open it in the browser so let me open it in the browser this is a game let me click on start game here and look at the block and i am just using my arrow key to move it around look at this just within few seconds it has created this game when i press arrow key i can increase the size wow and then it is showing us the next block i'm moving it here so you can go left right and you can um, easily go with that uh, rotate or in any direction from left to right it is also showing us the next block and i'm just checking the alignment here very very nice the only thing is that when i press arrow downward arrow keep pressing it it doesn't move fast but we can easily also set it and of course i can keep playing with it as you can imagine oh, this is i think next level really this is a very very good stuff okay that is all good and nice let's try out one more test one of the most cumbersome problem especially if you are a sql developer or dba is to optimize sql queries especially in oracle this is where um, i'm testing it that you are working with an oracle 19c database the data the table orders contains over 200 million rows and is used for daily reporting and i have given it a schema and then i'm giving it a query which is not performing optimally and i'm asking it to optimize it and also rewrite the query and then also show us explain plan and you see thinking is disabled so this model model is not a reasoning model let's run this to see how exactly it optimizes the query there you go and you see as soon as i have pressed the enter button it has gone in and given us the correct response so it is talking about um, all the performance killers here, like full full uh, table scan. There is no indexing and 
large data volume and then it is given us some of the solutions it has that plus indexing strategy optimized query function based index where it is fetching it first very nice this is really good and then it is also talking about some partitioning strategy which i was not expecting it and this is what i love that it is talking about oracle specific optimization not just a, a generic one for materialized views optimizer hints and few other tidbits as you can see and then we have this is original plan um, execution plan as how it accesses the data and then it has given us the optimized one you know what i think and i'm not saying it lightly i think this is um one of the best if not the best open source coding model of this week in ai so this week quen is definitely winning no doubt about that if you are interested in checking out their yesterday's mixture of expert model which is geared towards uh, language and general purpose tasks check out this video which i did yesterday and i'm sure you're also going to love it please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot thank you for all the support